stamp community. Once a year you can hear Scott English, the boss goes around and starts talking to everybody, reuniting, and then another year later you see him again and you get the updates. And I really think that's one of the great assets that numismatics, philately, I don't have to give credit to other hobbies because I'm into other hobbies, has. You emphasize the people over the coins, or the tokens, or the checks, or the cash or the album pages. Now, if you get an inverted Jenny, now that's a different story. Now you got some money. This is, this is a fun hobby, so the articles are short and sweet. I don't want to bore people, I don't want to have them taking three days to read the article. So it's to the point, what it's about, where it came out, and things like that. Wendell Scott was the first African-American NASCAR driver. And NASCAR, unlike some other sports, doesn't have a lot of black people involved. But Wendell Scott was a trailblazer, obviously he was a pioneer. And as a young kid, he inspired me to maybe even want to be a NASCAR driver myself. Today, we still have but one black NASCAR driver. My man, Bubba Wallace. Cover show chairman for, for the American First Day Cover Society, one of the three co sponsors, Great American Stamp Show. As a co sponsor, we were very nice to have a table in the front. We've done talked to lots of people, sold a lot of covers, got people interested in first day covers as a hobby. Uh, Certainly enjoyed the, the Pony Cars first day ceremony. I'm a big ceremony program collector, and ha having, for example, the person who whose car was pictured in one of the stamps there and getting to talk to him was very interesting. Uh, he, he bought a ticket to our banquet and told us more stories about how his car was on the stamp and that, that type of stuff you can't do off trying to clean. One of the great things here is to have some fun and see old friends again. We're spread out all over the country and we see each other on Zoom and we talk via email and the phone, but it's really great to be back together again. We appreciate the work of APS, everybody with ATA and AFDCS. I think it's been a great show. And I've just had so much fun being dressed up and, and getting to have conversations about why we're doing it. This is the end of Great American Stamp Show 2022. I want to thank the city of Sacramento for the great and warm welcome. I also want to congratulate our friend Vince King for winning the Champion of Champions for 2022. It's a wonderful exhibit, and I hope you get a chance to see it very soon. Uh, I'd like to thank the staff of the APS for all the hard work that they put in, as well as the volunteers that came here to help us out. I'd also like to thank the dealers, and you know the feedback that we've gotten from them is they got to visit with a lot of good friends and there was a lot of great sales going on. Most of them said they had a very good show. 
For me, I think one of the most exciting parts of the show is being able to visit with APS members. And although you may not have been able to be with us in Sacramento this year, I hope you're already making plans to be with us in Cleveland next year. So on behalf of our staff, on behalf of the board, and on behalf of everybody here in Sacramento, signing off, thank you.